toilet, is that what you want to do, bro? I'm going to do the uh, burst fade on the side and then trim the wall off the top. And then uh, just a little trim on the mustache. Cool. So just burst fade, trim, basically reshape it. Yeah. Razor? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, please. Cool. Let me get trip some guys. How's it going everybody? Um, today we're going to be doing a basically a afro mullet. In the consultation he did ask for a burst fade and then we spoke about it and we decided that that basically really wasn't what he fully wanted. He wanted to keep all of that bulk behind the ears and I told him doing a burst fade really couldn't do that. So without further ado, we're going to start off this haircut. And what I like to do first is I like to go in and freehand all of these little curls to basically get a nice shape out of it. He um, he was asking me to do basically a trim that I felt was was good enough for this haircut. This client comes to me about every two weeks or so. Um, when I'm doing any type of freehand scissor work I always switch to my razor shears whereas usually when I trim hair when it's not ethnic hair or very curly coils I'll use my serrated shears um, this one in particular I got these ones during barber college and these are just these are the best I, I love them I've tried to use other razor shears but they just don't really work for me but as you can see here all we're doing is going in and just slowly taking away these little flyaways um he wanted to get these coils nice and even it's not fully done yet here as i do go back and i like to detail the haircut but what we're gonna do is first start off by brushing all the hair down where we are gonna blend and i like to go in first with my first guideline by making that five off first guideline if that makes sense i'm working with a new camera guys as I said before in a previous video, I got a new camera. This one records in 4K, so hopefully this video does come out in the 4K that I made sure that I put the camera to. So, what I recommend if you are a beginner barber, I do not recommend going in and scoring for your guideline, as that does kind of create a pretty harsh line to take out if you're not experienced or you don't really know how to take out the line just know that whatever you create the line with you can take it out with the exact same tool so with this haircut as you can see here I go in and I make my first guideline and then I go and I start lining up the two line behind his ear and I basically make that entire line all symmetrical following that two line but I do not go out and blend the back of his ear. We're gonna keep this all basically inside of this little box as you can see that's really short. After I go in with the 5 watt blade, I will go ahead and start doing my electric razor. Again, you guys do not go into the first line. After that, go in with your choice of clipper all the way open. If it's a master and you have the regular blade on there, the, that master, make sure you go halfway open, which is an odd A if you are using metal guards. Okay, so right here, guys, after I do my second guideline with the clipper all the way open, I'm gonna go ahead with my number one guard all the way open, barely going up probably about a half an inch. As you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and put a color key guard or color guide, I guess you could say. For you guys to follow along if you guys do like that please let me know in the comment section below um after i go with the one and a half all the way open against the grain i'm gonna go ahead and try and lay these hairs down these little hairs that are basically basically going to be our transitioning hair that go into the top i lay those down with the one and a half open with the grain it doesn't really take off much it barely barely gets anything but it does make a difference it helps lay down that hair and it creates a good foundation for when you start trying to blend that hair to the top to get that smooth transition after I go ahead and do that we're gonna go in with the one and a half guard 
all the way open. And when we're going all the way open, keep in mind, again guys, that we're almost to the parietal ridge of his head, on the right side of his head. So please make sure that when you are doing this, you are using the C motion, you're flicking out, and you're basically going with the curvature of his own head, making sure that you do not go inwards because you do not want to look in the mirror and you're basically giving this guy a mohawk mole, if that makes sense. If the client asks for it to go in, then okay, that's cool. But this particular client did make sure to tell me that he does want he does not want it to go inwards. He wants to keep it flush with his shape of his face. Going back in with the one guard open and closed, trying to transition that one and a half to that open one and a half. Just doing little detail work. Sorry guys, I think I had the camera on manual focus, so I just kept on trying to make sure that it's focusing. I'm really trying to get the best angles for you guys. So after that, we're going to go in with the half guard, clean up all these little dark spots as you can see here. There's little dark spots, dark spots, excuse me, here and there, using the corners of your blade, basically using about I'd say three to five of the teeth on each side of the blade when I'm using the corners. I don't use any more than that. Then after I do this, I'll basically have a rough draft, I guess you could say, on the haircut. After I line it up, I like to go back in, detail it very, very, I guess you could say, meticulous. Um. Right here, again, you guys, as you guys have seen in my previous videos, I do like to go in with my Fade Blade Masters and take out that last guideline, as well as trying to create that shape with this blade. This blade, I really, really like. It's really close, it's sharp, and it really can get these little coils that are just very stubborn and that do not want to come out with the other clipper again guys when cutting very coarse hair make sure that you are always combing down the hair as you can see right here it looks faded when the hair is combed up but once you comb that hair down there's a big line <laughs> shout out to Barbara Joe here in Albuquerque he drives around and delivers products to everybody's barber shops he gave me this pink flat top comb as well as a white one so appreciate that Joe so when I'm doing clipper over comb guys I never have the comb up and down I guess you could say horizontal I'm thinking I gotta look that up you know I'm not that good with those I guess you could say um, but I don't like to I don't like to have it directly from left to right. I always like to have it at a angle just because I feel like when I have it straight across, it creates a line. So um, I'm gonna actually be quiet for this part. The same steps apply that I did to the right side, to the left side. We're gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch this and we'll be back.
right, cool guys. So when I'm doing the lineup on anybody's lineup, I like to spray a little bit of hairspray, spritz, whatever your choice of holding spray is. Um, I like to go in with that, blow dry the hair, basically blow dry the little baby hairs down, as you can see here. Just trying to get those little hairs to, to, just to lay down so that we could get that perfect clean lineup so that when he's walking out of here, he's looking fresh, looks amazing. So after I go ahead and I blow dry that, and as you can see, it's a very, very small process. Um, it makes a big difference in your haircuts. So again, when doing when doing edge ups, I always like to start off in the middle, working my way from the middle to the left, and then I go in with with my clippers and I go ahead and do the right side. Well, his left side, my right side. So with him, I was having some trouble actually with his little bit of his corner. Not with the actual edge up, I should say, but his hair was just not wanting to get cut. As you can see here, I go in and I try to get that little that little coil off. It just would not, it was not participating with me at all. It was not wanting to work with me at all. So throughout this little bit of this clip, you'll see me trying to cut that off or use the scissors to cut it off. But nonetheless, we get it done, we make it happen. Everybody's gonna have little things here and there that they have to, I wouldn't say overcome, but it is something that I did struggle with on his hair, which I haven't before in the past, but you know, everybody's hair is different. So with that being said, as you can see here, I do use these clippers as well to shape a little bit. Again, you guys, make sure that before the client walks out, you do your detail work. It's best to try to get the haircut roughly done on about 15, 20 minutes and use that last 10 to 15 minutes for cleanup work to make sure that the haircut is picture perfect. You guys wanna make sure that your client is walking out feeling like a model um, as I mean, I like to. I like to. My, I like my clients to walk out feeling confident. Again, you guys, it is a walking advertisement for you. So make sure that no matter how long the day has been, whatever has happened, the client was giving you a hard time, this and that. Just make sure you guys could do your best work as possible. And so, I guess let's go ahead and let you guys watch this other side, and then we'll come back. Okay, cool. So, again, guys, you guys have heard me say this over and over again in all my videos. When using hair color enhancement, you know, whether the client is going to leave and go shower after this and they still want that, do it a little bit darker so that when they, 
with so that when they shower it does wash off a little bit but it basically looks very natural right here you can see I went in it makes a huge difference the haircut has been done already you guys can see the haircut has been done there's nothing I'm trying to hide nothing I'm trying to cover up but right here you can see that a lot of people they like to go in and basically just hit the line up and it looks kind of like a line I know I've done that in the past but I've learned to basically in a way flash the hair color I guess you could say to basically blend it into the rest of the hair and you can see right here it looks very natural um does he need it no did you like it of course he did so again you guys if you guys would like to know how I mix my color and what I use Go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll be able to answer that for you guys. If not, DM me on Instagram at GabeTheBarber9. So, this is before you guys can see. Looking rough. Curls were everywhere. Hairline was gone. And then we went ahead and we, we revived my dog. So, if you guys did like the video, please be sure to like, comment, and please be sure to consider subscribing. Thank you guys. Have a great day.